the green building movement, of course, is a great success story, and I do not wish to take away at all I, uh, from its um, uh, self-realization. Uh, it's a very healthy and vital movement. At the same time, um, I, I, I think that we have to guard against some of the complacency that sets in when we start becoming dependent and too familiar with uh, tools that um, simply allow us to go through the process without thinking too deeply about are these the right goals. Um, I also think that we have to continually uh, ramp up the imperatives for building performance and are setting our sights. At this time, uh, we must set our sights at, at zero net zero energy buildings and forward uh, buildings that produce more energy or uh, that husband and provide more water than they need. So I think those are the talking points of getting beyond the current build, green building uh, program um, towards a new breed of buildings uh, with zero impact and beneficial byproduct. The other area that we really need to talk about and, and um, mobilize our talents towards is really how do we best redo, uh, readapt, uh, renovate, and um, transform existing assets that we've already built. And this is not an easy question. It's going to require, I think, all of our uh, innovative and transformative energies to think about how we remake those assets that we cannot afford to um, turn down, to, to uh, uh, tear down, uh, but we need to creatively uh, raise them uh, significantly in terms of their performance and how do we do that in a, an economy of some scarcity. So those are some of the challenges uh, <clears throat> but emerging opportunities in the green building arena.